right now we're in front of this one and i'm gonna tell you i did not know that it was this big i was just telling you that but looking at this thing it's amazing so we're gonna talk about this one and you said something when we were talking was uh these birds have a lot to say and, and you said it a different way but basically you wanted to talk about it because it's not just a bird to you it's something more so could you explain that with this one uh, blue herons were just striking beautiful to me when i first saw them uh, just like with the bicycles i give them personality or or a she or he mm -hmm. i knew from the first time i started painting it it was a she gotcha okay and the the empowerment that she you know the way she's standing in the chest is like that is, I call it divina, divine. Gotcha. Divine, gotcha. Um, in Mexico, we have a saying is se cree la divina garza, mm -hmm. which like, oh, she thinks she's all that. <laughs> uh, so that's exactly what I wanted to do with this painting. Uh -huh. Yes, she she feels that way. Yes, yeah, she stands proud and, and, and she thinks she's the best thing. That's kind of the message. And then I put this lotus flower on the back of her. I seen it, yeah. Uh, really soft pinks. Yes, yeah, she's strong and she thinks she's all that. But the flower on the bottom, softness and sweetness is is the womb, is the power of source. Gotcha. Like it's where, where everything comes from. Gotcha, I mean, okay. Yes, yeah, she does that strong, but yeah, she comes from this like, soft and, and feminine gotcha you know so yeah. that's the message and i always think i'm like people think it's just a blue heron but yes it is a blue heron and i hope they do enjoy it but thank you for the opportunity to to be able to go deeper into why is that flower doing back there mm -hmm. people don't want it for his she or he <laughs> but i want to make sure they know it's a she and she's very empowered yeah gotcha and that that's awesome to to see that the flower because i would never have caught that right there that the flower is the duality of her feminine side but also her boldness that you have with that and that's what you wanted to show with that so that's awesome and it, it makes sense when you explain it you know because at first you just look at it and you get the first initial blue herring in an awesomely done style but then also when you get the story man it just it just brings new life like i said before so awesome i'm gonna show this i want you to come see this and we have some food so go ahead i had burgers here uh current yeah that's what it is asian fuse uh, infused this just yeah so y'all come out here and see this mural and maybe even get you some food all right all right and now we're at the fourth electrical box and so this one I, I i said it when i was shooting it i love the colors but i always say you use beautiful colors colors that are vibrant and catches your eye and this one does and so explain what were you going with this one well this one is very special it was the very first box done for the project entirely entirely okay uh, it was 2017 and I got the green light from uh, Daryl Tropy. Um, him and Virginia Jordan uh, started the project and, and they were ready to go. The project was supposed to be Calder and Main Street only. Uh, it extended to, to the entire city. But at the beginning, that was the option. Mm -hmm. So when they asked me from these boxes, which one would you like to, to work with? And I knew this was a very special location. I realized that public library was next to it, mm -hmm. city hall was across the street, and I was so, so excited because I thought people only go see artwork at museums or studios or galleries. I said, the people that have to pay their bills in person uh, will have to see it. Yeah. The people that don't have access to a computer or books come to the library. Uh, of course, the police department I'm like the traffic that you get so I thought the location was just so special because all these people that were forced to come for different reasons will encounter a piece of artwork gotcha so I knew that it was gonna be uh, a special site uh, and it was just the beginning. After this one, the boxes started popping through the entire awesome. city. So. Yeah, so you started a movement. <laughs> well, well, they, uh, yeah, they did I, it. They did it, yeah. yeah. But I was so ready to do it when they, he said, we can start anytime. I'm like, we can start anytime? I love it. <laughs> this box, I was so excited to work. It was so close to Thanksgiving 
that literally Thanksgiving Day, I'm painting. Oh man! With a friend, like my little Jennifer Aguilar and I yeah, are painting. Yeah. And I realized that as the day got, it was getting close to lunch. Uh huh. And I'm like, I think we need to go, because I think people think it's the saddest thing that we are. <laughs> <laughs> we're now with our family and we're painting outside. Yeah. But we were having a blast. Too much fun and not I realizing, know. yeah. Like, I think we're making, we might be making them feel bad that we're here. <laughs> uh, but no, it was fantastic. We, we painted on Thanksgiving Day and and it's surprisingly standing. Like the sun goes directly to it. Yeah, that's what I was about um, to say. I remember you saying that some of them you want to do a touch up, but this looks like your newest one. It looks like, yeah, to say it's your first one, it looks like your newest one. Yeah. And so that's that's a credit to you um, <laughs> and, and what you were doing with this one. It just it stood the test of time. And, and so you definitely need to come out and see it. You definitely need to come out and you definitely need to experience the colors yourself. And I like what you said, you wanted people to, who don't normally get to come out to places, get to, because they have to pay a bill, they have to see somebody, or they have to read books. But also, I would think it would brighten their day to see something this lovely, and make them want to walk over and look at it, like, oh, what's that? If they're over there, let me come see it. So, yeah. awesome idea, because it, it really does spark conversations and spark uh, just thoughts and feelings within you. Yeah, so. no, and the thing is that, that, that was the first one, but right now, realistically, if you take a step that way, you're gonna find a huge, beautiful mural yeah. by Megan. Then you're gonna have other boxes by other friends, artists. Like, it, it's just a matter of stepping outside your car and walking a few blocks to encounter different spots. Mm -hmm. So I'm really glad to be part of it. Yeah, because after after you did this and, and some others, yeah, you have the, the flower, because the flower was before Mural Fest. Um, I forgot who did it, what's her name? Uh, who did the you the best thing about me? Uh, Summer Laddick. Yeah, yeah, that that one was there, and then and then that, that after that mural fest, we had so many other ones. Yes. So yeah, because of that, now so many people can see some stuff, and I hope when they actually open that up, we can actually get even more murals done down there that'll make it look so amazing. So hopefully so, because I know that that underpass that's under there, you can put something beautiful there, <laughs> you know, and put some lights there to show off. But anyway, I'm rambling. We're gonna go to the next one. <laughs> Now we're here at a museum to actually look at some art that's actually for sale if they want it, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And um, we just talked to the person here and he let us know that they're open Monday through Friday. So if you ever want to come in here and actually purchase some art from awesome artists, and I'm telling you, I looked around, man, my wife already made her claim on certain things that she <laughs> wants me to get, but there are some awesome art. And then he said on Saturday, Sunday, if you just want to talk to the guard, uh, he'll let you in so that you could come here. Most of the things are closed, but you can still come in here and purchase some art. And we always want to support local. That's always my, my goal with doing these videos. So I just wanted to plug that for you. To, you can come out here Monday through Friday. Um, what do you think of the hours? I don't think he said it. I believe it's uh, 10 to 5 or 10 something. 10 to 5, around around that area. So 10, 10 uh, definitely we, we believe it's going to be between 10 and 5. If, uh, I don't know about earlier or later, but you want to get in that middle, that sweet spot, and come out here and support some artists, uh, especially putting out some great art. I'm going to do a little wide shot so you can see all that they have to offer, but some of these pieces are so amazing. Uh, it just makes you wish you had thousands of dollars to, to blow so you could just buy them. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I want to talk about yours though. Let's get on yours. So you have, I, I think it was like eight, oh no, I'm wrong, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve pieces. So talk about them. What was your inspiration? Where are you going? Because I see birds and flowers. So, yes, well, the idea, uh, everyone that is here, we all know each other, we're all friends, and it's nice to be in the same room where we are offering smaller versions or the big ones ah. like the, the idea that somebody cannot get it because of the size or because yeah. of the price yeah it's not okay on my stomach uh, uh, some people that can not purchase a big one can purchase a small one and some people it's not about gotcha. the money yeah. sometimes it's about the space mm -hmm. some people might have just very small uh, space you might live in a city like New York uh, where you have this much wall space so this is the place where you come and you get to 
have a piece of the artist. Um, I can see some from my friend Mark, my friend Mike, I mean Tina. I'm surrounded by friends and when you come here you're supporting somebody that lives and works in Bowman. Yes, yes and that's what's awesome I'm saying just have local artists and you ever want to support them this is an awesome way to do so. So Plus, that's great. The percentage goes to support the museum. Oh, okay. So okay. we are here, it helps us to promote our artwork, mm -hmm. but the percentage goes to or goes back to the museum, which, which is, is supporting good. us. Which is good because it keeps them open also. Yes. Awesome, awesome. And I never knew that. So it's great information to know. So you definitely need to come out here. Like I said, Monday through Friday, definitely uh, 10 through five. Get yourself down here and support the artist, support the museum, and let your, let, let your artistic view go through wild. So <laughs> so we're gonna move on to the next one. Uh, did you have, I want to ask you, did you have a favorite one here? I, you know, uh, it's like your children. I'm like, is that oh. my favorite? No, you don't have a favorite. Uh, gotcha. I do have a dear space or place in my heart for the little ones. Oh, okay. I think those, for some reason, the, the young girls or, or they just give that sense of like, I want the little flower. So going back to the conversation we had about the flowers and being like empowered with what kind of flower you are, mm -hmm. I really enjoy when little girls seem really excited about owning a little painting. Okay. Uh, I okay. don't know what's the connection yet, but I always have a really good feeling when a little girl walks out with a little painting. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. We're going to move on to the next ones. All right. So we're here at Down to Earth where I, it's a bunch of art in here that it is done. And not only that, it's very different because it's not just like I, every place we went there was like a central theme but with these they're they're different types and it's looked like it's different different ideas that went forth with this mm -hmm. with this and so i love it i love it because it gets you talking about each each one so i know you have different stories uh so let's get started which one do you want to start with okay so there was uh, a really large one uh white and then it's almost like it was broken pieces of glass yes not a subject necessarily not mm -hmm. an image uh, that one is called unbreakable yeah and that one i i remember i did a lot of dripping at some point mm -hmm. i have gone through different stages um you and i are meeting in a stage where everything looks almost like a stained glass um, but i have done so many other things mm -hmm. and i love all of them okay uh, and i hope to go back if i like later in the future but that one it was just dripping paint and every little section was painted with a different color. Gotcha. Okay. So at the end it was like broken glass and I titled it Unbreakable. I decided that it was going to be the, the more punches you get in life, the more beautiful you become. Ah, okay. Because the pieces become smaller and more colorful. Yeah. So that's one of my favorites. 2018, I believe so. Uh -huh. uh, there are, oh, the, the, I have the mask. I have this uh, sunset. Actually, it was the sun at Cato March. It was a sunrise. Oh, okay. okay. The water is really green yeah. and blue, and it's a little bit of brown. Okay. That's Cato March speaking to me. Okay. Uh, in a very simplistic way. The one next to it is the eagle. Yes, nicely done eagle. Uh, eagle. It looks awesome. So that one was inspired in by a friend of mine, Ken. Uh, he's a wonderful photographer. Uh -huh. He took a photograph of this bald eagle that I've been seeing at Cato March. Yeah, I remember so, you said you had the eagles there. Yeah. Yeah, I had the experience to, to see them. I wasn't able to capture them in a beautiful photo, but he did. Oh, okay. So I asked for permission uh, and see if I can paint it, his image. Ah. Uh, or use it as a reference, mm -hmm. movement to and, and size of yeah. the wings. So those are pretty special. And then I have some cactus. I have a guitar that I made for Prince. Yeah. We did a special event celebrating him. Oh, okay. And I took a photo of him online and I went and tried to recreate that guitar as yeah. much as I was able to. Okay. The cool thing is this. It starts with red on the top, mm -hmm. blue on the bottom. In the middle, it all becomes purple. Ah, yeah, for, so, for him. Yeah, yes, that's nice. Yes. Yeah. I, I watched a documentary or movie about him while I was painting it. Okay. And how much that song meant to him. 
uh, really inspired me to really put a lot of intention into that painting. Gotcha. So yeah. So it's, a, it's awesome to see that you did that for him. And also, could you go a little bit, because you explained it off camera, but I wanted to get it on camera, about the, the, the shield, uh, the mask picture that you did. Yeah, so I have one that, uh, and you asked me, is that yours? I'm like, yes, and I'm so <laughs> proud. Uh, I think one of the things that artists don't want to do is get stuck with one thing. Um, I hope that I keep evolving mm -hmm. and I keep moving forward with new things. Uh, that doesn't mean that what I've done in the past is not part of me. Yeah, it will yeah. forever be. Always be, yeah. But that mask, um, in different tribes or uh, groups, anytime there was a need of fighting, they would just have these shields with this face mm -hmm. that will be protection yeah. to scare the enemy. So when I did that painting, I was the whole intention was to recreate a sense of like, being protected. Being protected. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, come on down to down to earth, and in here she has some amazing paintings that you got to see. Um, I'm telling you, it's 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 unlike I've seen. Um, like I said, the guitar, the mask. I wanted her to talk about those because it's it's I haven't seen that. So it was an awesome awesome one to look at. And I I want you to come see this yourself in person, and also come and support this local business. And now. We're going to move on to i believe it's the last one right maybe we maybe have so yeah. More, yes. <laughs> yeah the other ones we couldn't get to right yeah all right